application ID and application filters, as you saw. Um, you can create a filter based on uh, a group of applications quite easily. So if we wanted to allow, for instance, go under Object, Application Filters, and then Add, give it a name. Okay, so traditionally, of course, you would you would go through applications and application groups, but this makes it a lot easier to to categorize the applications that you want um, based on the, the maybe the risk um, appetite of the company, what you may need to sanction, what you may not need to sanction, that type of thing. So, for the context of the exam, if we wanted to allow SaaS applications and so this is a filtering thing you, you build in the filter up so SAS applications and then if you wanted to restrict it so you can see we've got now 934 if we wanted to restrict it to all service we'd only have three so if we wanted to say okay we want to allow those uh, content management database email file sharing uh, what else would you need? You'd need uh, instant messaging, let's say. So we've got our risk values here. And within the risk values, you could choose you want risk one. So you want everything that's green, so really low risk. That's okay. You can allow two because, I mean, most office programs, to be fair, tend to be a little bit risky due to the fact that they are so often targeted by hackers. Um, just purely simply because of their their um, penetration into office environment and possibly three so you can you can look through so you've got enterprise VoIP, you've got enterprise video um, these are your tags that you've got uh, already attached to applications okay so then we move on to uh, the characteristics so you can uh, match applications on characteristic as well uh, and then as you can see, if you, so match on just ones are uh, data breaches, uh, and then that drops it down by a certain amount, um, HIPAA. So get the idea there. Okay, um, if you want to use show technology column as well. So without, so we take that out, we've got the technology column, browser-based client server network protocol. And you see how that this all changes then once you see if I can no, I can't. Um, and then that changes based on these here. So once you've then created that, you're happy with your filter. You've got the category, which is the SAS category, and then your subcategories underneath, and the risk, the risk ratings. You can then go on and use that then in a policy. So if we use that in our demo policy, when it comes on, okay, it's so user-based demo. We can go through to uh, the application and then we can type in which doesn't always work first time you have to search for it because of the amount of applications um, so then our, see our application filter there put in there uh, then that depends on but all the dependencies will be added because you've dynamically created the filter Click OK, and then you're allowing your demo user group to get to applications within that filter that you've created uh, and nowhere else, basically, and then just commit, and that's your all. So that's application filtering, application ID filtering.